Good evening, and thank you for joining us. I'm Riley McManus. Two years after a transitional housing project on Junon Avenue was put on hold indefinitely, a similar project on Algoma Street was announced today. Ontario's Minister of Municipal Affairs and Housing was in the city to provide over $2 million for 21 transitional housing units at the Matawa Training and Wellness Centre. Officials call it a tremendous opportunity for the vulnerable Indigenous population to get the support they need. Mike Lang reports. Great news for your organization, great news for this community. What was once a long-term care facility is now becoming a modernized Indigenous care facility. Thanks to the $2.1 million investment announced by Minister Steve Clark, vulnerably housed Indigenous people will start living at the revamped Matawa Training and Wellness Center, located in the former Dawson Court home for the aged on Algoma Street. 21 units of transitional housing are being created on the lower level, built for individuals and families dealing with financial difficulty, mental health issues or substance addiction. There will also be lounges, shared living spaces, and wheelchair accessible washrooms. It's very important as part of our journey of reconciliation that we support um, organizations like Matawa to ensure that uh, membership in the, in the Northwest have uh, not just a place to call home, but also have the services that they need. So it, this is something that right from uh, our election in 2018, we put as a priority and uh, we've worked in, and essentially doubled funding uh, to Indigenous communities since uh, 2018. Clark and local MPP Kevin Holland say it's about more than just giving people a roof over their heads but also providing them with care that caters to their individual needs, which they'll have access to at Matawa Training and Wellness Centre. Children and teens can receive trade school and secondary school courses in their learning centre, while adults can participate in programs for financial literacy, cooking lessons and life skill training, among others. New offices are also being built for full-time caseworkers, which means there will always be someone on site that can provide immediate social assistance. Board President Rosemary Munia spoke about the importance of having accessible services for those in need all in one location. It's hard to find rent, affordable housing, so coming into the city, they're, they're not familiar with all the, uh, the services that are offered, and we will be able to provide services in one location and meet all their, their needs, their social, um, mental health, everything. While the entire reconstruction won't be finished for another couple of years, furniture has already been ordered for the 21 units, as they're expected to be complete within the next six months. Mike Lang, TBT News.